Melting glaciers aren't just a future problem. They're already causing problems all over the world right now. There are about 200,000 glaciers throughout the world, and communities are dependent on them for survival. Glaciers in the Ranzori Mountains in Africa protected the region from malaria for generations. The glaciers once created microclimates where malaria-carrying mosquitoes couldn't survive. The locals have a saying, God is in the ice. Glaciers were once so big, they fed the Nile, but now they're melting, and the region is being plagued by malaria. Over the last century, those glaciers have shrunk by almost 85%, and by 2030, they could be completely gone. In Switzerland, glacial runoff powers the country's hydroelectric plants. These plants provide more than half of the country's electricity. As the glaciers melt, it's creating a surplus of hydropower. That might be a good thing for now, but by 2090, most glaciers are expected to be gone and the country will have to replace that power with something else. Over in South America, high up in the Andes Mountains, the glacier runoff supports Peru's population during times of drought. But in recent decades, the melting ice has created a massive influx of water. New lakes are appearing where they never existed before and some of those lakes are overflowing, routinely hitting communities with floods and landslides. Almost 100% of the world's tropical glaciers are in the Andes Mountains, but they have shrunk nearly 50% in just 40 years. In Central Asia, there are so many glaciers in the mountains, the region is known as the Third Pole. Glacial runoff feeds 10 of the Earth's largest rivers. It's the primary source of water for nearly two billion people. At least one third of these glaciers will melt by the end of the century. And if emissions continue on their current path, another third will disappear. The extreme runoff will flood rivers all over Asia, destroy crops, and cause massive landslides. The melting will devastate the planet's most populous continent. By 2100, half of the world's glaciers are expected to vanish, and the effects will ripple through the globe. We will have far too much water in the near term, and far too little when we'll need it the most. These are climate facts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy videos from the Years Project, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell.